What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE Undertaker Most Savage Moments, man. We just checked out Randy Orton's. I just dropped that video previous to this one, so we gotta check out the Undertaker's man. He the Undertaker. It's early in his career. He didn't really say too much. He didn't wasn't much of a talker. Eventually he started talking more. Especially when he had the American badass gimmick. Oh, he was talking his shit. I love that. That was honestly one of my favorite versions of The Undertaker when he started really talking his shit and backing it up. Uh, it was it was fantastic. But appreciate all the love and support. Let's get right into this, man. We're running through him today, man. Oh, wait a minute. It's getting late. Do you know where your sister's at? Because I do. The house that the <laughs> devil lives in, I built. I taught you everything you know about evil, but I didn't teach you everything I know. You have never been worthy, and you never will be. And most of all, you're unworthy of being my brother. This is my ring. Damn They've it. had a good rivalry you too. You think you're so big? You think you're so bad? This is <laughs> when Daddy wakes up, tell him the Undertaker took back his yard. Bro, he just socked him. I'm gonna beat you down like the bitch you are. This is my favorite version of the Undertaker when he had the bandana talking and shit right now on the on the motorcycle. Oh man, favorite version of him. To ask you right here in front of all these people to join us. Join you? That's what he said, all right. <laughs> That's Hell, what he said. I can't even stand to look at you. Right! I'm seven foot two, I'm 500 pounds. Largest athlete in the world today. <laughs> this is my yard. Mistake. The ring you're standing in is my yard. Roman Empire will fall. It never happened. At WrestleMania 18. You remember that, Rick? Pain that you've ever felt in your life. But you say what if you like to sleep with your own sister? <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny segment. <laughs> Remember this. <laughs> oh my God. Lost. I don't know if you realize it or not, but you're trespassing on private property. Oh boy. Because while you were scratching and kicking and clawing and screwing your way, but this ain't your day, boy. They had a good few I too. Ain't no rattlesnake. I'm the dead man. If you try me, I'll, I'll make you famous. famous. But seeing how you're standing in the middle of my yard, I will break you. A Triple H had a cheap shot, The Undertaker. <laughs> I took the best that you had, and I took the best that Triple H had, and I put you both down. I took the one thing from you that was most important. This was a good segment. Career. career. Uh huh. And this is why I just, oh, it, it pains me to say this, bro. Sean should have stayed retired. And it's not because Sean was, you know, he was bad in the ring when we did see them get back in the ring. I just, no, bro, that match was not good. He should have stayed retired. It, 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 loses, it, it loses its gravity of the situation. Those two matches he had uh, at WrestleMania 25-26, those fantastic matches, easily one of the best matches in WrestleMania history. Those matches loses its gravity, especially the 26 one, because it was career versus streak. And he came back from one more match that didn't live up. That's why I was like, I always would stand by. He, I was so glad that Sean always stayed retired. No matter how many times they threw money at him, he said, I'm staying retired. And then he got unretired. And I was thinking... Probably in his head, they were thinking DX, Brothers Destruction, should be something good. It wasn't as good. 
it was not nowhere near as good as it should. It was a train wreck. So, I don't know. I just always will. I, this will always be my thing. He should have stayed retired. It's that look that says nobody can beat me. Nobody can touch me. You haven't been taken where I'm going to take you at Unforgiven. But I'll tell you who I do think did it. The Undertaker. Oh. Stephanie is accusing the Undertaker. <laughs> Undertaker's so cool, bro. Stone Cold. Uh -oh. So what I want to know is, is this true? It's true. What? What? It's true? It's what? She is a sleazy tramp. <laughs> <laughs> You're not such a big man. <laughs> If you were such a big man, you wouldn't have to pay that slut Sable to sleep with you. Oh. Comes out here right now and apologizes to me. Mr. McMahon and company, yeah. the owner of the WWF. Anyone deserves an apology around here, it's me. You put your hands on me <laughs> last week. And I might do it again. Uh-oh. I've stayed retired out of respect. Or is it fear? This was a good segment. I ain't gonna lie to you. Even though they were teasing it, this was a really good. Oh my god, this was so good. This was really, 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 really good. It's just the match didn't live up to the hype. That's the only thing. And I was hoping this match was gonna be better, but they were past their prime. It was. It. It just. It. It, it did not work. But like I said, I will always stand by this. I really do wish that he would have stayed retired. But. Once they started bringing this into the realm of possibilities, you kind of knew, all right, they're, 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 he's probably going to have one more match, and it just didn't live up. Back when you were in high school trying to get some off of old Mary Jane Rotten Trotch, I was humping these roads, and I was winning WWF titles. Who in the hell are you to call me out? You can talk about all the monkey's nipples you want, <laughs> but you called me out, boy. I'm still down with the devil, and I will go medieval on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and it was one of those things where I think uh, Trip, uh, not Triple H, uh, Undertaker mentioned it on the Evil documentary season one. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. He mentioned that character change. He needed to switch it up because the time was changing. There was a lot of good people on the microphone, so the Undertaker had to still keep that persona like of someone that is, you know, that would legit kick your ass like give that undertaker persona but he had to kind of step up his mic game as well and he was hanging with the likes of the rocks and stone Colds and the triple h on the mic he had to elevate everything so back undertaker and off laying the leather to your encouraging both men to your mom your mom sucks race. i mean i didn't get mad when you stole all my moves <laughs> that was from his uh, his uh, retirement retirement video <laughs> speech. Well, not retirement, uh, a Hall of Fame speech. Chair, oh, you're laughing now, boy, but you won't in a minute. You got a date with the dead man. AJ Styles. This was good too. You know, for such a small man, you got a really big mouth. I'm sure you thought by dropping some pipe bombs, you'd get under my skin. You said maybe 10, 15 years ago, you probably wouldn't want to try me. You were content being a big fish in a little pond. Eddie Guerrero, Booker T, Edge, the very best this business had to offer. You waited till they were all gone, except for me. You stepped in something now, there's no coming back. This was good. That This was so good, bro. It's like we started to get the it was like a new version of the american badass i love this it wasn't a dead man i love that 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 little whole brawl they had that was probably the best thing over that uh the pandemic wrestlemania bro that whole sequence that in the firefly uh funhouse that was pretty good but that whole sequence or the firefly firefly match that whole sequence aj the boneyard match oh my that shit was great that shit was really, really good. Entertaining shit. Back from it was the first time you mentioned her. I think you're mad because she does the Faith Breaker, a.k.a. Mm. the Styles Clash, better than you do. Mm. She got it over. Try me. I'll make you famous. famous. Oh. You tell Brock Lesnar he's going to slay the beast. You leave while you're still able you didn't live up. This was a cool segment, too. They had I'm not going to live up 
to mine. They started attacking. They they attacked that nigga. He was like, alright, bro. Enough of this. Cap tag team match. Wait a minute. Yup. You need to watch, watch your, your ass. ass. Mm hmm The next time you get out of line with either one of us, you're gonna be the one handicapped. And they meant it. <laughs> You need to watch your mouth, rich boy. From the very day that you were born, this was a good statement too. You've been your daddy's. Oh, that was so cool, bro. Oh my God! This is so cool. Two unprovoked attacks. First, the Rock on SmackDown, and now Maven here tonight. Coach, let me ask you a question. Are those your teeth? Yes, sir. They are. Would you like to keep your teeth in your mouth? Yes, sir, I would. Are we done, coach? Yes, sir, we're done. <laughs> Why are you still here? <laughs> Make reference to my yard and how I run it. Sometimes when you jump over that fence and you end up in See, and then they came up with the shake. Try me, I'll make you famous. That is one of The Undertaker's most infamous lines. Try me, I'll make you famous, bro. In the big dog's yard, that dog, you don't move. So what do you do? You move a little close, and that, my friend, is when the dog gets his bone. <laughs> Whoa. Princess, princess, shut your face. <laughs> now, the third call was to 911, because I believe your husband is about to be in the need of medical help. Oh, man, bro. This is, this is great. This, oh, this was so good, bro. Undertaker, thank you so much. Mark Calloway, thank you so much for all you've done for the industry, for this business. You have literally changed the wrestling world. And we are so great and grateful to have seen such an amazing career. So, I, I, this is great, man. Comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite savage moment from this clip. Or even if it wasn't from this clip, let me know. Um, For me, it's... It's the infamous try me. I'll make you famous. That was one of the coolest things. And it still rings. Anytime the Undertaker says this, try me. I'll make you famous. It, fantastic. Gives me goosebumps. But appreciate all love and support. Road to 80K. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.